Welcome, welcome to another episode of Time Consuming. I was planning on doing a Meshuga episode today, but the song we're going to discuss was released just a few days ago, and it's epic, so we kind of have to do this. Today's song is Tigran Hamasian's new release, Levitation 21. This is a difficult one, so hold tight. In this song, Tigran uses a really cool concept of reorganizing existing subbeats in different groups to create different musical expressions that all sum up to the same total. That might need an explanation. Say we have a bunch of pennies. Now I ask you, how much money do I have here? You have no clue, right? I mean, of course you don't. There are just too many to guess without counting. How about now? Easier, right? Yeah, I mean, you do have to be familiar with American currency to know that these are quarters that are worth 25 pennies each, but the math is pretty simple. Well, how about now? Easy. Basically, what I'm doing here is representing the same amount of money in different ways or different groups. And the same goes for our song. The total sum of this song is 21, which means, theoretically speaking, that the time signature is 2116. 21 is a big number when it comes to time signatures. And much like those 100 pennies, if I just play a 2116 click track, and ask you what time signature we're in, you'd get lost. I mean, me as well. It's just too much. You can't relate to it or get any sense of its groove. So what do we do now? By taking this big bar of 2116 and dividing it into smaller chunks, we're actually creating some musical sense within this huge bar and we make it a bit more tangible. Much like this version of a dollar, is much simpler to perceive than this version, right? So by dividing 2116 to different groups, we get a variety of different ways to express or play this big time signature. Okay, okay, let's go back to the music. I'm a drummer, you shouldn't listen to me when it comes to money. This is the section I'll break down. Let's listen to the different instruments. We actually have a few versions of that 21 played simultaneously, which is what makes determining what the time signature is kinda not very clear. Let's start with the piano. The piano plays this line. This is the same line as the intro, but the drums give it a whole new context. For this specific section, I'd say this 2116 pattern is divided to seven groups of three. Okay, pattern number two. This one is played by that clicky, high-pitched, muted symbol. And our beloved 2116 bar is divided, quite symbolically, as the opposite of the piano, three groups of seven. Next, 
Let's listen to the bass. The bass is dividing this 2116 bar in yet another way. This one is 6555. It's very much in the background, so try to see if you can find it. Now we get to the tricky part. The kick and the snare. Though they sound pretty chill, they're the most interesting factor here for me. Basically, they play one hit every six sub-beats or groupings of six, or a dotted quarter note. It's all the same. Hmm, six, um, but six doesn't fit nicely into 21, does it? Nope, it doesn't. Wait, but it does fit nicely into 42. Which, besides being the meaning of life, is also two bars of 21. So we have seven groups of six, spanning over two bars of 21. But that's not all. They also alternate between themselves. So kick, snare, kick, snare. Creating a very slow backbeat groove kind of vibe. This groove is very hard to ignore when trying to find the time signature. Even though the piano is the lead instrument for this song, the drums still have most of the power and influence over how you perceive the time signature. That's why the answer to what time signature are we in will change depends on who you ask. Remember, this video breakdown is my take on this song. Maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong, but I'm right. I think. So we have four different ways of expressing that 2116 bar played simultaneously. On any regular given day, I'd say there's no way to make this musical. But this is where Tigran and his bandmates Arthur Gnatek and Evan Marian show us how amazing musicians they are. Making this sound so fluid and musical is quite a challenge. And they nailed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next week.